Hello mga Okasan! I hope you guys are safe and well, and well, well, well. Welcome to another episode of Dear Mama Mele! Okay, for today we are going to talk about postpartum. But before that, I have some good news guys. Ako ay vaccinated na po. First dose pa lang, but I feel so happy na nagawa ko na yun. But I am feeling a little bit low and under the weather because of the vaccine. Kaya pagpasensyahan nyo na dahil napaos ako. And okay naman ako. Okay ako. Before we go on to postpartum also, I would like to encourage and invite you guys to subscribe to this channel. Huwag lang pong manood, mag-subscribe din. Okay? At after ito, mag-like kung type nyo. And mga okasan, marami nang tatanong kung anong ibig sabihin ng okasan. So I am here to share again with you. Ang okasan ay mother, mudrokels, nanays, momshi, and Japanese. So yun ang tawag ko sa inyo guys. Mga mudrokels, mga okasan. Also, I got some exciting news mga okasan. I have some giveaways to give. So you gotta stay tuned until the end of this episode to find out how you can join and win some awesome giveaways. Okay, let's start. Postpartum. Ano ba ito? It means time after childbirth. Pagkatapos nating mga anak. Yan na waramin. Okay, so how long is a mother considered postpartum? The first six weeks after giving birth is considered as the postpartum period. Yun yung pinaka-intense na time na nagre-require ng lahat ng care for you and your baby. During this time, some researchers believe that it actually lasts up to six months. Okay, week one, kung normal vaginal delivery kayo, you may experience that your kifi may hurt a lot, depending on how much ito nawara. Also, bleeding is normal, mga okasan, and your uterus begins to contract back to its pre-pregnancy size. Kung C-section or cesarean delivery naman kayo mga okasan, it, movement will be difficult. Masakit ang mga sugat and sessions. Kaya a little bit of galaw-galaw, kilos-kilos is very much recommended to avoid blood clots. Sa mental health status naman mga okasan, naku, ang ating hormones ay uh, nag-undergo ng maraming maraming changes at pagod na pagod tayo. Hello! Pagluwal ka ba naman ng isang human being na dala-dala mo ng 9 months, by the way? Hindi mo nakakapagod yun, mga okasan. Just me, yo. Okay, you guys may feel so overwhelmed too. Yung you want to cry all the time, yung mga worries nyo, anxieties, yung mga things na you don't think are going right, etc. And of course, it's going to be very difficult. Okay, suggestions for aiding your recovery. Kung vaginal delivery, ice pack, mga okasan, frozen pads, yung mga ganyan. Pwede ka rin mag-spray uh, or magpadalo ng warm water sa iyong kifi before and after ka. Jumihi ever. Pain meds, alam na ng doktor niya yan, so please ask your OBGYN. Yung mga ibang hospital naman, they won't release you until nakapoop ka na. So, magkakaroon kayo ng mga stool softener and drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water. For C-sections, mga okasan, your major job this week is to keep your incision or your sugat dry and clean. Kaya pagkatapos mag-shower, yung mga pat-pat lang na mga patawel, ganyan. Okay, week 2 milestones. Vaginal delivery. Medyo kumukha din na yung bleeding ninyo, pero meron pa rin. Sometimes naman hanggang up to 6 weeks yan. Kaya ako ganun ako eh. Medyo makati din yung kifi. Pero good sign yan because that means nag-heal pero wag kamutin. Kung C-section naman kayo, mga okasan still feeling a little bit sore. But moving around may help of course. Ganyan din yung sa inyong scar. Medyo magdadry at magnanam at magiging makate. Good sign din yan pero wag kamutin. Mental health status naman sa week 2. Baby blues. Normal po yan. Yung ako nga naaalala ko nung nanganak ako kay Ilay noon, si Papa Gucci, yung stepfather ko, pupunta na mercury drug. Tapos nagngangawa ako dun sa hospital, huwag kang umalis, huwag kang pupunta na mercury drug. Tsaka isang commercial din na napanood ko lang na hindi ko, hindi ko naman natandaan kung ano yun. Pero iyak din ako ng iyak. Yan ay tinatawag na baby blues. Yan po yung pinaka-normal. Pero kung meron ka namang postpartum depression or PPD, 
that's a different story. If you are feeling overcome with sadness, anxiety, hindi ka makatulog, hindi ka makatae, makaka- hindi ka makatae, hindi ka makatae, <laughs> syempre nakakalungkot yun. Hindi ka makakain, and you are having suicidal thoughts or thoughts of hurting someone, yan po ay very, very serious, and that's what we call postpartum depression or PPD. And I advise that you go seek help, talk to your doctor on how to go about it, magkailangan nyo po ng psychiatrist, psychologist, or counselor. Lahat yan pwede nyo i-discuss at huwag kayong mag but discuss it agad-agad. Okay, week 2 suggestions for aiding recovery if you are breastfeeding. Ina, ina po kayo sa second week, mga okasan, pero alam na natin yan, meron tayong mga sore nipples, meron tayong cracked nipples, inverted nipples, puro nipples. Pero meron namang mga uh, nipple shields, nipple cream, and then meron din para sa nipple inverter. Pwede kayong bumili yan, mga okasan. Nakakatulong yan, Diyos ko. And also, please keep an eye on some clog ducts. Masakit po yan, and it can lead to mastitis. At pwede, mastitis. Mastitis ng buhok. It can lead to mastitis and pwede kayong lab natin, pwede kayong ma-hospital, kaya keep an eye, mayroong mga solusyon dyan. Maybe I'll discuss it in another episode. But napakasakit po niyan, Kuya Eddie. Meron naman tayong mga lactation experts or consultants na pwede nyo pausapin regarding your breastfeeding journey. Nung panahon nung kay Ilay, masahista lang sa kiligili para bumaba yung mga gatas. Diyos ko, napakasakit po. <laughs> So also, incorporate um, galaw-galaw, kilos-kilo sa inyong balur. Pwede na kayo mag... Balur means house. Balur. Pwede na kayo maglakad-lakad sa loob ng balur. At kung may garden naman kayo, sa labas ng balur. And okasan, eat well. Kailangan po natin kumain ng mabuti dahil tayo ay undergoing a lot of things sa ating katawan. Also, foods with potassium can help you keep your energy up. Kailangan ako niyan niyan. Okay, week 6. Si- week 6. Si- <laughs> na kaya. Okay, week 6. Milestones. Kung vaginal delivery, your uterus is back to its pre-pregnancy size. Bleeding stops and although merong mga times na pwedeng bumalik-balik yan, mga padugudugo na yan. Okay, most occasions will be cleared to do exercises and sexual activity. For C-sections naman mga okasans, your uterus is also back to its pre-pregnancy size and sexual activity and exercise pwede na din but take it slow, so slow at clear na rin kayong magbuhat ng konti ng mga kagaya ng mga Shopee or Lazada deliveries nyo pwede nyo nang buhatin and your scar will be better but still a little bit numb pwede rin mga tingati pa, again, huwag kamutin Okay, for mental health status naman ngayong week 6, it is still normal to feel exhausted and overwhelmed. And again, kung deeper feelings of depression or hopelessness, yan po ay pwede postpartum depression or PPD. So again, I insist that you talk to your doctor or to someone so that you can get help. Suggestions for recovery on week 6. Although this is technically when the postpartum period ends, many women don't feel like themselves yet until until for a full year. So mga okasans, anong advice po? Please be gentle with yourselves. Also, if you are going to start exercising, okay na rin, but still, please take it slow. Wag yung mga rigorous or hardcore muna na mga hit yung ganun, <laughs> boxing yan. Wag muna yan. Uh, medyo ako, hardcore ako eh. So, nung tinatabi, sabi kong slow lang yung aking exercises. Naka-hardcore ko pa din. Kaya medyo hindi maganda. Kasi nakakalimutan natin minsan mga okasan na tayo ay bagong panganak. Hindi po madali yan. Kaya please take it slow. Okay? Same with sexual activities mga okasan. Hindi porki pwede na kayo, that means you are ready. Pwede kayong makipag-usap sa inyong partner kung hindi pa talaga nyo feel, you know, makipag- mm. And also when you are breastfeeding, nalaman lamang ko lang sa aking doktor na uh, hindi ka masyadong 
na L. Hindi <laughs> pa kayo ready. So please, kausapin niyo yung partners niyo, mag-explain kayo ng mga feelings niyo, maging open kayo about how you are dealing with postpartum. So kung hindi pa kayo ready, huwag tilitan mga okasan. Di ba? Di ba? Okay, the exhaustion at this point can be overwhelming. Kaya magnap. Alam ko lagi ito sinasabi, pero hindi naman tayo nakakanap talaga. <laughs> yung totoo, mga kakasan. But please rest kung kaya nyo and kung may partner kayo, take turns on taking care of the baby. Tapos na po ang milestones natin. Tumungo naman tayo sa aking personal experience sa postpartum. Okay, I am on my fifth month postpartum. Physically, since vaginal delivery naman ako, wala na akong pain down the roof. But my hair is still falling out like I said earlier. Nag-start na din ako mag-exercise, mga second month pa lang yan. Pero uh, yun nga, nasabi ko nga kanina na medyo nasasobra ko. And uh, so nahihirapan po ako mag-pace kung paano yung acting uh, back to exercising. Kasi nga yung simple para sa iba ay hardcore na agad para sa akin. So, I need to really know how to pace myself kasi nga sakitin din po ako and of course, we are not getting enough sleep. So, medyo apektado yung aking uh, fitness regimen. Also, mga okasan, I felt a dip on my milk supply na kaya medyo nagpanic na rin ako. So, medyo slow na rin yung aking uh, take sa exercising. Mga okasan, nag-try na din ako mag-work, nag-MMK ako, and um, sana napanood nyo, you know. Since na-decided nga po akong mag-breastfeed uh, for a year, nahirapan talaga akong mag-work. First of all, ang hirap pala mag-pump sa isang place na hindi ka confident na malinis. Diba? Nasa tent po kami, ang mga standby areas ng mga artista sa tent. And also, yung location namin ay hindi bahay, mga bukid-bukid. So, ang hirap na mag-pump ng hindi sanitized, well sanitized, yung paligid nyo. Ang hirap mag maghugas ng kamay. So, you know, these are the things na kailangan kong i-consider physically. And mentally, mahirap siya kasi... Uh, we're on a 12-hour cut-off, working cut-off uh, period. So, nami-miss ko yung mga pumping time, yung kung kailan mag-feed yung baby ko. Kaya, nagkakaroon ako, nagkaroon ako ng clog ducts. Papunta sa mga cystitis. Gusto ko nang mag-collapse. So, yun po, mahirap siya. And, saludo ako sa mga nanay, sa mga okasan na nag-work na. But of course, maybe they're, they have a uh, better circumstance no if they're working in office medyo mas mas lenient sa tamang pumping time yung yung workstation mo and also mas malinis yung banyo doon so mas makakapag pump kayo na mabuti at makakapaghugas kayo yung kamay so medyo nagkaroon ako anxiety over that mga okasan and mga okasan first time ko pong nahiwalay sa aking baby medyo mahirap siya no uh, si Joem din I had to consider his scenario naman sa kabila dahil first time na mawawala ako hi guys sobrang anxiety over it na iiyak ako dun sa hotel room ko kasi hindi ko alam kung gusto ko na bang umuwi gusto ko na bang magsabi na ay hindi ko po pala kaya pasensya na mahirapan kayo sa paghanap ng ibang artista or magcancel kayo ng episode so nahirapan po talaga ako and buti na lang si Cho M ay naandun sa kanyang family home meron po siyang mommy mami lola na tutulong sa kanya and the whole household ay very helpful sa kanya at masaya sila syempre na nandun si little boy but syempre on my end hirap na hirap ako pag miiyak siya nararamdaman ko yun lalo na yung first night actually hindi ako natulog nun eh kasi gusto ko it's just difficult Ang aking mental health noon, mga okasan, ay running in its normal course, I think. Meaning, kagaya ng dinaskas ko kanina, I have your normal mood swings, I have your normal hormonal changes. Okay, there are days na I get anxious kasi I feel na I'm not doing enough. And also, I feel so tired and exhausted. And meron akong guilt feeling na, oh my god, I have to be doing so much more, but... I am so exhausted. Hindi ko alam kung paano. Wala akong motivation to uh, to do things. Gusto ko lang maghihilata, mag-breastfeed, etc. Sometimes, I'm just so tired too. Na ang hirap mag-alaga ng baby. So, also, that's normal. So, again, please be gentle with yourselves. And I have to remind that 
to myself as well. Kaya you guys are not alone mga okasan. Uh, minsan nahihirapan din ako ng mga self-care stuff kasi uh, kagaya ng mga na-discuss ko nga dati, no? I have a very fussy baby um, nung newborn pa siya. So ngayon, medyo hindi na ganon pero talagang latch pong latch siya. And sa, sa pagod ko, ni, niihi. Ngayong fifth month ha, hirap po ako, lalo na pag natutulog, hindi ako nakakatulog talaga. Kasi, <laughs> konting mga takas-takas kung ganyan, pag nagalaw ko lang siya, oh ha, oh ha, yun na nga. Nahihirapan po talaga ako. Um, okay, gusto ko rin i-discuss sa inyo na recently, dahil nga nagpa-practice kaming mag-transition to bottle, dahil mag-work nga ako noon for LMK, nagkaroon ako ng uh, maraming anxiety over that. Kasi nagkaroon ng nipple confusion yung baby ko, which means hindi niya alam kung ano yung, kung mag- nagkaroon siya ng problema. No? Sa, sa bottle feeding kasi, hindi niya kailangan mag-exert ng effort. Hindi niya kailangan yung ginagawa niya, yung natural sucking na ginagawa niya sa inyong dede. But, yun nga, um, nag-iiyak ako, pinost ko to sa dear mga mameme. Nag-iiyak ako kasi parang nahihirapan siyang mag-feed sa akin. Sobra yung pagiging fussy niya, as in nagwawala siya, hindi siya makakuha ng enough milk. So sa stress ko, nag din yung milk supply ko. So period, mahirap, nahirapan ako ngayong fifth month. Yung four month na sleep regression, nahirapan din ako. So after kong mag-taping, nag-decide ako na wala mo ng bote, unless kailangan talaga. And mga okasan, Pag nag-feed ako, as in nararamdaman ko nag-overheat yung katawan ko or sometimes parang nagkakaroon ako ng anxiety. Parang, oh my God, sobrang energy ang nakukuha sa atin ng mga babies natin when we start breastfeeding. I don't know if you experience that mga okasan, but ako, I just feel na parang kailangan ko kuminom ng sobrang daming tubig just to be able to regulate my body and mag-relax again. And of course, meron tayong mga issues sa ating katawan. You know, mas payat po ako ng mga anak ako. Siguro dahil nga meron akong gestational diabetes on my latter pregnancy period. Um, bawal ako ng mga sugar, nag-exercise ako ng grabe. So ang ganda po ng katawan ko ng mga anak ako. Yung parang, oh my God, mga models, yung ganon. But then again, um, marami po talagang changes sa katawan ng babae, no? And hindi natin madidictate kung ano yung gusto mong kainin. Gusto mong kumain ng marami. Hindi naman ako kumakain ng mga matatamis. Except ng first few months ko, napakadaming mga sugar na intake. Kaya medyo talagang nagkaroon ako ng weight gain. And ang dami kong insecurities about that. Na parang, bakit nung nanganak ako, ang payat ko ngayong, you know, nagbe-breastfeed ako, sabi nila, mayroong myth about that na pag nagbe-breastfeed ka, papayat ka. So, hindi po totoo yun. Hindi naman ako pumayat, tumaba nga ako. So, nahihirapan ako ngayon to eat well or to have this certain diet that you wanna do because ang priority ko ay yung baby ko, yung breastfeeding ko sa kanya. So, may mga kailangan ka talaga compromise and let its natural course you know, happen. Kasi ang hirap na vanity ang gusto mong gawin then yung priority na buhay ng yung janakes, yung dere, yung yung dere, yung yung milk supply. So, okay, dadating ako dyan, guys. I am exercising not to lose weight, but to be healthy and fit and to have energy because napakahirap po mag-alaga ng baby. Again, yung mga weight gain na yan, meron tayong mga nakikita ng celebrities na mga mommies na ang bibilis po pumayat. Huwag po kayong ma-pressure, okay? Baka ganun ang kanilang body type at meron silang certain na uh, ginagawa na pwede sa breastfeeding or kaya nila, okay? Tabain po yung pamilya ko, eh. Konting kain ko lang ng konting kanin. Um, doon ako kagad sa, ah, tabakan ka na ulit, me. <laughs> Huwag po natin i-compare yung sarili natin sa kanila because everybody is different and every mother is different kung paano yung journey niyo postpartum. So, uh, kung payat pa siya at nakakapag na, eh, good for them. I-celebrate natin yun. At kung hindi nyo pa kaya yung kunyari yung katawan nyo ay hindi pa kayo confident, uh, i-celebrate din natin na ito pong katawan na to ay merong ginagawa na mahirap para sa isang bata. So, it doesn't make you less of a mother kung hindi kayo payat, kung hindi kayo ganyan. Just be kind and gentle to yourselves, mga okasan. Okay, many, many emotional stress, mga okasan. 
But luckily, on my postpartum now, um, hindi ako naka-experience ng PPD. Hopefully, hindi ko siya ma-experience, okay? Hindi natin alam kung kailan yun mag-hit. This time around, siguro, I have Cho M. Laking tulong po niya sa aking personal needs as a person, as his, as his partner, and then also yung needs ng baby. So, talagang natutulungan po niya ako. And also because I am ready for this baby. Unlike non with Eli, it wasn't planned and I was going through so much at that time. Kaya na-experience ko yung postpartum depression. Also, I meron ako underlying condition which is called bipolar disorder. Um, that condition also um, siguro naka-aggravate nung um, postpartum depression. Okay? It was also that year that I was diagnosed with BPD, bipolar depression. Before po ako ng anak niyan. So, can you imagine yung journey ko na, na chaos? Kasi hindi ko pa naman kilala yung bipolar at that time. So, hindi ko, kailangan ko pang i-assess yung sarili ko. But, wala rin akong time noon because that was also the year that I started my sobriety from drug use. So, in short, I was all over the place. Tapos, hindi mo maganda yung relationship uh, status ko at that time. So, parang nakagilala ko pa lang yung sarili ko. May mga desisyon ako na dahil pala sa aking bipolar disorder, yung pagiging, akala ko risk taker lang ako, but <laughs> meron pala akong condition. So, yun nga, hindi ko pa kilala yung sarili ko with this bipolar disorder thing. And in denial po ako noon, okay? Ang dami kong gustong gawin. Tapos, I was in a terrible place with uh, my relationships family, partner, friends. Kaya it was just really a hard um, moment in my life. Four months into my pregnancy, oka, mga okasan, nag-sound na sound ako, nalaman ko na baby boy, nakita ko na yung, you know, nakikita natin sa ultrasound. Doon ko pa lang po talaga na-accept na buntis ako. And then, in-embrace ko yon, and I had a very happy pregnancy back at home. Ang problem lang po talaga is, you know, meron akong bipolar disorder which means I'm already dealing with chemical imbalance and then may sobriety pa akong tinatakil and then doon, nagkaroon ako ng postpartum depression because, you know, grabe yung mga hormonal changes and talagang I was in a terrible place. I had the thoughts of suicides, I had thoughts of hurting myself, I had thoughts of hurting um, others, and even the baby. So guys, this is very serious. Pinagdaanan ko po to, and I'm so grateful na wala akong ganyang thoughts now. Naaagapan kagad yung pagod, nakakatulog ako because you know, I have somebody taking care of the little boy. But guys, I am really serious about it. Hindi po siya masaya. Kagulo po siya sa utak nyo and you don't understand this. So, buti na lang, since I am diagnosed, clinically diagnosed with bipolar disorder, that means I have a doctor, a psychiatrist at that time. And also because I was dealing with sobriety, meron po akong sober counselor. Ang sumalangit na wa, na mahal na mahal ko, na tinulungan ako sa aking sobriety, clinical psychologist siya. So, meron akong dalawang doktor, meron akong psychologist, and meron akong psychiatrist. And talagang tinulungan po ako noon hindi pa ako hindi pa masyadong aware ang mga tao noon about this condition so even my family does not understand it so it was a very it was a journey with my psychiatrist and my psychologist talagang natulungan po ako noon kaya i really encourage you guys to 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 um to have one or to talk to your doctors kung paano kayo pwedeng magkaroon ng um extra support sa, sa part na yon. So, yun mga kasan, I am still ta taking my uh, mood stabilizer medicine. Yaan po ay pag-uusapan natin on another episode about bipolar and being a mother. Um, but I am still on meds. I am still on therapy. Siyempre ngayon, once a year na lang ako unless meron akong pinagdadaanan. No? So, I get to talk to my doctor pa din. Um, it was very difficult nung kay Eli as opposed to now where hormonal changes and pandemic lang ang pinaproblema ko or kalaban ko. Okay mga okasan, that was very long but I really hope na meron kayong natutunan at meron kayong mga nakita na na-share ko na nakakarelate kayo so you won't feel alone. Okay! 
a giveaway time. Hindi po itong uh, magko ang i-giveaway ko. At Little Twinkies and at Dear Mama Meme have partnered to give these awesome prizes to two lucky winners. Each winner should receive a very special package from Little Twinkies. Little Twinkies, you know, that's my rapper name. <laughs> Joining is simple mga okasan. Answer this question on the comment box below. Nagwawala po ang anak ko. What is your most fun moment with your bebe? Include these hashtags on your answer. Hashtag I chose little Twinkies. Hashtag little Twinkies. Hashtag dear mama mama. And you gotta like this video. And you gotta subscribe to this channel. And follow both at little Twinkies and at dear mama meme on Instagram. Yan. Gawin nyo lang ang mga yan. And you are going to have... Um, a chance to win lucky prizes from at Little Twinkies. Maraming maraming salamat mga okasan for joining me on this episode um, about postpartum. And you know, may mga heartfelt ako mga kwentos. And I really hope that it was informative and helpful sa inyo. Kung type at like nyo itong video na to mga okasan, well, you know what you gotta do. You gotta like this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Not just like ng like mga okasan. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell para alam nyo kung may bago tayong mga episodes here at Dear Mama Meme. Also, follow me na din sa Instagram at Dear Mama Meme at Planet Omigoshi. And mga okasan, I'm a TikToker mom na rin, okay? Kaya ko na rin po yan. So, follow me at Meryl Soriano underscore. Okay, that's it, pansit. Reminding you mga okasan to never compare yourself with other mothers or with others. Kanya-kanya po tayong journey sa motherhood. And own it. Embrace it. And again, be gentle and kind to yourselves. I'll see you again mga okasan here sa Dear Mama Mame!